all four paintings have some form of forbidden feeling. The first painting is about creation. It's female pleasure. It's the creation without the need for anything else, just the joy of being part of nature and creating. She's feeling the pleasure of perhaps an orgasm, some kind of orgasm, either physical, spiritual, or communion with nature. She's completely contained in her own joy and her own pleasure. She's not, she doesn't need anything else, which is quite threatening in some societies, this idea of a woman that doesn't need anything to be, feel full. She's waiting for the last contraction with her head between her legs, waiting for that last push to be able to get the body out and hug her baby and get to know it from the outside because she already knows the baby from the inside. This is about the mad menopausal woman. You don't really know whether she's going to kill you or whether she's just having fun. I wanted her to be an, a normal woman that suddenly reached the menopause and decided, oh, I, I'm just doing whatever I want now. I don't care about <laughs> you lot. <laughs> I, I'm free, I'm going towards wisdom. And I thought the, the, I would do, it, do her a bit in um, heavenly colours, so blues and whites, the clouds and the sky. The blue is also could also be water. I like this idea of the menopause being a rebirth, being or perhaps if you've never been yourself, it's an actual birth. I Will Rise From The Ashes is a painting about a different kind of rebirth. It's when you come back from a bad, having been burnt down because of something bad has happened in your life. And there I wanted to portray, again, a bit of madness perhaps in the sense of anger and a bit of lack of control because you're flying again and this phoenix is just coming out uh, gold and earthy browns, that new fire. In uh, a lot of traditions, the idea of fertility and creativity go together. It's the same thing. You create ba babies, you, you create books, you create art. The video is divided in four parts, and each bit corresponds to part of the menstrual cycle. The four cycles are also related to the life cycles and the different stages in life. So the first one is when everything is possible, but nothing has happened yet. The second one is the point of maturity, where everything is ready to happen. The third one is where all those creative forces are in development and wisdom is attained. And then the fourth stage is death. And then the cycle starts 
again.